I was kind of worried, uh, but I unplugged already the, the computer from the switch. So I think it is going to work better. Is, is it raining, teacher? Uh, no, it is not. It is not, but maybe around or somewhere near here, it is. Yeah, that is why. The same here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's in the near place where it's raining because not here and I can't see anything out there. No, oh. it was the power. Fue, estaba conectado en, el, en, en, la, en la electricidad. El bajo mino, igual el, el, el router y la máquina se quedó. Me asusté, pero todo bien. Ok, gracias a Dios. All right, people. So we were talking about risks. You know, this is a risk to risk of losing everything, right? <laughs> yeah. So assessing risk, we have to foresee the risk. We have to plan what can happen, right? So let's go back. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to open everything. One second. I was more worried about connecting than opening <laughs> the files. All right. One second. All right, here we are. Assessing risks. Esta palabra se siente así como mero. Mero rara para nuestro idioma, ¿verdad? Assessing. Assessing. Se siente así como mero extraña para nuestro idioma, pero así se pronuncia. Y normalmente no, el error que tendemos nosotros a tener es que decimos assessing, que okay? es assessing, all right? Así que de una sola vez vamos corrigiendo ya antes de caer en eso. A ver, ¿qué estábamos diciendo? Recuérdenme, por favor, vamos a ver. About the risk. Mm -hmm. About the risks, where? Where can you find risks? Uh, maybe a possibility that uh, make uh, an accident. All right, an accident, the possibility, yes, of an accident. Okay, and we were saying something about our mm, agenda, right? Uh, we were in the risk assessment vocabulary and concepts. We have some conversation role play also. And then our mm, comprehension activity that we always do after the conversation, then we have opinions, questions, and answers related to risk assessment or assessing risks. This is our first topic for this class. This class is number 21. And the topic, the first topic of unit four is assessing risks, assessing risks. And we're going to learn some words and concepts, terms, because they are relatively um, similar one to the other, but they have the deep differences between them and they have different usages. So we want to see, um, the objective is that you could describe um, the risks and hazards at the workplace, okay? Participants will be able to describe risks and hazards at the workplace, okay? Los duques de Hazard, ¿se acuerdan de los duques de Hazard? <laughs> the Hazard Dukes. Uh -huh. Okay, so participants will be able to describe risks and hazards at the workplace. Here we've got some words. Danger, warning, caution, 
notice, safety instructions. These are words related and they have a concept and they have also um, a guideline that in our brains makes displays images it displays images for example if someone tells you danger or you read danger what's the idea that you've got what is the idea you have to stop right stop because something is going to happen and it's going to be dangerous okay danger is the noun dangerous is the adjective to qualify or something in the quality of danger right danger dangerous okay so let's read this and let's have this this short discussion a ver vamos a ver um jose salvador have you ever heard the term risk assessment have you ever heard the term risk assessment uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carlos Ernesto? No, I haven't. Okay. Glenda? Also me, I haven't. All right. Hosman? Have you ever heard? the term risk assessment. No, I have. Okay, Wilbur. Um, I don't know if you're talking about uh, about the some like the, the safety to be safe in the to the manufacturers. Okay, uh, uh, safety measurements. Uh huh. Oh, okay. More or less, uh, when when they ask you uh, your pro your personal protection. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it's related to that. It's related to that. And okay, those who haven't heard what the term risk assessment mean, what do you think it means? What do you think it means? So handsome boy or a girl? It's a boy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a uh, is determinate the hazard about the process and identify the risk and uh, plan a strategy for control and care the person in the process. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Carlos Ernesto? Uh, maybe uh, about assessment uh, will be is not sales at the product. Okay, when you don't have sales, you think that's uh, you need the assessment. Yes. And that's a very different process. Also, you have some risk of not, not selling your products. Okay, yeah. But this is about risk uh, to damage people, to damage the product, to damage the machines, to damage all the facilities or the factory where you work at, or maybe the offices where you work, right? So this assessment is not only for administrative uh, processes. This is for uh keeping the safety or keeping working safely okay so this is why we think about assessment assessment is not not only assessoria right it's also evaluation okay evaluation it's not only assessoria as uh as, as evaluation right so risk Assessment, guys, is to evaluate the likelihood of risks in your workplace or in any workplace. Remember, we have 
workplaces indoors and outdoors. We have places in the water. We have places in different kind of ground or underground that they uh, make draw uh, some risks. So we have to assess those risks. But what's the purpose? What is the purpose? Why should organizations design a risk assessment and be trained to apply it? I mean, to apply one. Why do you think they should design this um, risk assessment? A ver, Carlos Alberto. Why should organizations design a risk assessment? Ms. Rosa? Mr. Nelson? Okay. Mm, could be to, to gather the measure about that, mm, uh, how is possible uh, to affect the product or or our company uh, in 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 some mm, circumstances. I don't know how it is. Circumstances. Uh -huh. ah, in some circumstances uh, of the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, I, I could I could understand your your well allow me to understand better. You think that they should design this kind of plan because they need to protect their facilities or uh, the product and everything they belong, I mean a, or they own. Is that correct? To protect. To protect the company, eh, eh, es que, <laughs> okay, but let's try to say it in English at the same time you are saying es que this in la idea. Sure, sure, so, go ahead, but let's do it together. Mm -hmm. To protect the company with the, eh, no, permita. I, I check. I check list the security industrial. Uh, all right. Uh huh. Yes, industrial security. That safety, right? Safety. Remember that security is different than safety, right? And yes, it's correct. It's correct. Uh, we need to check it constantly in different circumstances of time, as Nelson said. And we need to evaluate. That's the best word you can find out with assessment in risks context, right? Evaluation, evaluation. You need to know how much in money we're talking about, right? You need to know about the lost. We need to know about the losses in time, for example. Uh, what we what would be the consequence of having these risks in money and time, correct? So they should design this risk assessment to have this clear and also to um, a, make a plan, right? Make a plan. Remember that we have seguro social, right? The, the medical uh, um insurance, medical insurance. Medical insurance have this risk assessment 
really planned and very detailed. They know how much does it cost for you to lose your fingers. For example, if you work with a, a um, hazardous materials or you work with um, maybe at heights or maybe you work, as I said, under the water, right? So like, um, uh, they have different prices. The loses are different prices. If you lose your leg, if you lose your feet, if you lose anything related, the insurance, the insurance have this very detail. But in an organization and a company that produces products, we need to know what to do if something happens, if something affects to our people to our employees, right? And who is that responsible? Who is that responsible here? A ver, who is that responsible? Teacher, the, mm -hmm. the risk assessment in the company is necessary because the is uh, caution the company and and different company, for example, the service or a manufacturing uh, company, because the the caution, the the dangers, or um, and different situation, um, protects the 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 personal, the company, and the and the ser and the clients, the the visit the, the company, right in a. Uh, is that necessary? Is the uh, the government government mm -hmm. the the uh, leyes laws 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 government uh, is is uh, the uh, complete uh, right? accomplish uh -huh. complete yeah and is it necessary in all in whole company and different and different service. Oh, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. And if, um, yeah, because by the law, you can uh, be sanctioned also. Yes, you're right. There are sanctions from the government if you don't follow the guidelines from the government about safety measurements, about safety um, procedures. For example, when we have a risk of fire for example there are some guidelines provided from uh, provided i'm sorry provided by the firefighter department right they have some assessment they have some a uh, workshops they do with employees in different conditions in different companies and then provide like a, pro a process right and there are some um uh, rules that you have to follow. There are some steps that you must not miss at the time that these things happen or these uh, incidents happen, right? Yes, you're right, uh, Hosman. That's correct. By law, organizations have to follow the guidelines. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So with, we now know that organizations should design a risk assessment, right? They, this is like a plan and also is like a management guideline, okay? So let's <clears throat> go to know what, what risk assessment is. What is it? What is risk assessment? Who wants to read it? Okay, it's a process to identify potential hazards and analyze what could happen if a hazard occurs. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. Can you give me some examples of potential hazards that come to your mind? Potential hazards, hazards. Mm. Hey. An electrician, are you? 
Yes, mm -hmm. potential of electrocution or electric risks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lorena, you were going to say something too? Yes, when the people use a, a hot machine mm -hmm. and the potential uh, risk. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. of burns uh -huh. burns Burn. okay mm -hmm. to burn the skin yes um when we work with potential hazards a uh, machines or machinery okay yes you're right mm -hmm. for example with sharp things or sharp like nails like needles or things like that yes there is a potential hazard also, chemical hazardous, okay? Chemical hazardous are really in a potential way when you work in a chemical company or in a laboratory, or maybe you work in agriculture or any kind of uh, these um, activities that requires using a chemical products, right? Uh -huh. And let's see, yeah, because intoxication and working with toxic products, right? Yes, you're right. Okay, now let's look at some words. Let's look at some words related to the risk assessment vocabulary. Hazard, hazard. What do you think hazard is? Hazard. Peligro. All right. Mm -hmm. The danger. Mm -hmm. Amenaza. Uh, yes, threat. Mm -hmm. Danger. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think hazardous materials mean? Hazardous. Hazardous materials. Mm, it could be like a chemical. Chemical. Mm hmm. Chemical. Mm -hmm. Toxics, right? Toxics. Here we've got a word. Look, poison. Poison. Do you know what poison is? Poison. Veneno. Yes, you're Venom. right. Mm -hmm. Venom. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think about the workplace accidents? How can they occur? And do you have any example to provide? Workplace accidents. For example, in the office, in the fall. You may fall. Mm -hmm. mm. In the parking? Uh, yes, at the parking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that can happen in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Tell me again. A ver, Wilbert primero y luego Carlos. I mean, uh, a floor wet. Floor. Um, floor, floor, floor. Oh, yes, yes. Wet floor. Wet floor. Floor. Wet yes. Floor. Good, good. Uh huh. Wet floor. And let's say Carlos Ernesto. Uh, for example, in the, in the street, uh, fall in the hall. In the street, you may fall too. Mm, es una caída por un hoyo. Oh, mm, because of caría. a hole. Yes, hole. you're right. Mm -hmm. Open holes. Open holes. Yes. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's a potential hazard, right? Uh, now, let's talk about what will be the difference uh, between accidents and incidents. What is an incident? Incidents, maybe, is almost accidents. Almost accidents? Okay, could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? I 
an incident may be no, not harmful, right? Or maybe uh, things that can be repaired uh, in the instant, right? But it's a probably or a, or yeah, a probable risk of an accident, right? Mm -hmm. So what is a risk? What is a risk? Risk. Uh, they are events uh, and probably uh, they are probably uh, even um, as a, uh, quiero decir que son los eh, como eventos probables para que pase un accidente. Okay, mm -hmm. probable events to occur an accident. Okay, to occur an accident. All right. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? In your own words now, uh, who wants to tell me what is a risk? What is a risk? Eso nos va a llevar toda la unidad, ¿verdad? Sabiendo qué es risk. A ver, Karen, what is a risk? It's a situation involving the dangers for people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Now, exposure. Exposure. What is that? Exposure. Mm -hmm. that is that is common in the manufacturing industry and mm -hmm. also in the buildings when the the company only think in the in the business and don't care about the employees yes correct correct it happens a lot it happens a lot and they don't respond and they don't uh, give uh, what is necessary to the employee. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. What is, uh, well, exposure, it's also that something is open or there is a possibility that this happened too, right? But exposure yeah. is, for example, that you don't have the protection and that you get in contact with that a hazard or, Maybe, maybe exposure, it's also a, the possibility of getting involved in an accident, right? Getting involved in an accident. Okay. Getting involved in an accident. What is an irreversible damage? I'm sorry, irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. when something you can't fix yes something that you can't fix mm -hmm. yes what could be an irreversible damage a die well, yes death right death, death is a reversible that's final irreversible death mm -hmm. yes you're right also to lose your arm, it's irreversible. You cannot have a new a, a biological arm, right? So it's irreversible. Uh huh. Control the lost fingers. If you lose your fingers, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now likelihood, likelihood. What do you think likelihood means? Possibility. Possibility, probability too. Yes, yeah, something that can occur. Um, you can use sometimes these words interchangeable, like probability, possibility, and likelihood. And also likelihood gives you the possibility of expressing a um, cause and effect, right, also. 
okay? Like cause and effect. Now, <clears throat> danger, danger. What do you think danger means? Danger. Mm -hmm. As a relation where you risk into a, 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 an, a, a hazard area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something bad, right? Something bad can happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, related with risks, obviously. Yes, you're right. What about poison? We said venom. We said any other, right? Someone said venom in Spanish. Precaution. Precaution. What is precaution? Something like uh, avoid uh, uh, a risk. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to take care or a previous care, right? Before getting into an accident or getting into a hazard, hazard right? Precautionary. 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 What do you think precautionary is? Precaution, we know is a noun, right? Precautionary, precautionary. Mm -hmm. Something that gives you uh huh. The opportunity to caution, right? To caution. Okay. Now, safety and safety measure. We can also say precautionary measurements. Okay. Precautionary measures or precautionary measurements. Safety measure, safety measure, and safety. A ver, qué idea les da esto? Esta ya la conocemos, pero tratemos de decirlo en nuestras propias palabras. A ver, Cristina. It's like a security. Yes, similar to security, similar, but it's not the same, right? Because security is involved with guns to put your life uh, safe or to save your life in a different way, right? From uh, maybe a robbery or maybe uh, in a war, for example, someone attacks you, that's to look for security, okay? That's look for security. And so we have the security bodies like uh, the bodyguards, like the policemen, that's security, okay? Mm -hmm. That's security. Uh, the security guards, mm, I don't know, the army, okay? The army, those are security, national security. That's security to save your life, but in that way, because you have um, been attacked, attacked by maybe someone with a gun or any other kind of, of uh, weapon, right? Any other kind of weapon. Now let's think about safety, safety. Maybe it's a... Uh make a, a strategy for, for control a risk. For example, use the security equipment for uh, avoid an accident. Correct, Lorena, yes. And uh, safety is also to keep your, uh, keep your life safe, okay? It's not exactly to save your life, but to keep safe, but and potentially you can save your life too, yeah? Potentially you save, uh, you, uh, save your life from a um, situation that is not going to be comfortable co or comfortable uh, having it like, uh, for example, if you have a sh an electric shock, yeah, you maybe will have some uh, consequences, right? After that, that maybe they can be irreversible. So we could say that safety also keeps your uh, life out of danger, out of danger. And also, um, 
far from death, right? Far from death too, but not with guns, but with safety equipment, safety measurements, safety um, protection, right? So for example, the seat belt is a safety measure to, to uh, fast your seat belt. And other safety measure that you can uh, come up with? Safety measures. I said faster seat belt, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Si va en el carro, digamos, vaya, una safety measure. Mm -hmm. Could be an, extra, an instruction that you you must uh, to follow uh, mm -hmm. if you want to stay if you want to to stay good okay or stay safe stay safe stay safe or secure mm -hmm. um yeah secure yeah but more is safe safe okay mm -hmm. safe mm -hmm. yes for example if you have kids they have to go in a, a baby seat, right? In a security or in a safety pair, right? Um, there are other kind of safety measures around. For example, uh, do not drink some uh, things like the um, bleach or paintings or any other chemical things, right? And they have there the uh, label, um, the warning label that says to not drink. That's safety measure to, to uh, sign, to sign everything, right? With the right name and also with the instructions how to use something that safety measure to. For example, safety measure could be the equipment like uh, wearing your helmet, or maybe you have to cover your hands with gloves, uh, whatever you want. Uh, it's a touch, right? It's going to be protected. Maybe your skin is going to be in contact uh, with any gas in the air, right? So you have to be protected. or from illnesses too, from illnesses. Remember when COVID, remember when COVID, a safety measure was uh, wearing a mask, right? Wearing a mask. ¿Qué otras safety measures teníamos con COVID? A ver. En su trabajo, por ejemplo, ¿cuáles eran las medidas? What were the safety measures in your workplace when COVID? Mm -hmm. Use always Mm -hmm. Please repeat, Wilber. To keep the distance. Keep the distance, about two meters distance, yes. And someone said something too. I think it was Glenda, right? Yes. Okay, tell me. Use always the mask. Yes, uh, instead of use, it was wear, wear, okay? Wear. Ooh, yeah. mm -hmm. Wear the mask. Yes, wear the mask. And also, if you could use like a screen also, it would be better. And uh, at the beginning, it was really important to use a screen, right? A, a, a screen on your face. And also, you could use these the kind of glasses, protective glasses. Yes, protective glasses. Mm-hmm. Yes. They used these overalls, right? Uh-huh. So, wash the hands. Yes, wash your hands. It's another safety measure. Use the alcohol in the hand. Alcohol, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gel. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. What does unpleasant mean? Unpleasant. You tell don't like it. <laughs> yes, something that you don't like, that you don't enjoy, right? You don't enjoy an injury. Do you enjoy an injury? Actually, I I think I wouldn't. If it happened to me, I think I wouldn't. Um, have you ever had a broken bone? 
Have you ever had a broken bone? Is it pleasant or is that unpleasant? Uh huh. Did you get COVID? Did you get COVID? Was it pleasant or was it unpleasant? It's unpleasant. Unpleasant, totally, right? Totally unpleasant. Uh huh. When you get intoxicated, I think you have been intoxicated at least once with food or maybe with the smelling of something that it is too strong smelling, right? You can get intoxicated. So is that pleasant or is that unpleasant? Mm -hmm. Something that you don't like, right? Something, something that you don't enjoy. And it is not good to feel, right? It's not good to feel. What about harm and harmful? Harm, 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 harm. You say it's similar yeah, in injury. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the first is the verb, the second is now. Okay, to harm, uh huh, yes, and harmful is the adjective. I'm sorry, the adjective. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. So now let's try to define these three words: hazard, risk, and harm. Okay, hazard, risk, and harm. Because this is, if you see the colors, if you see the colors, uh, from yellow to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, if you see risk, is right in the middle, right, right in the middle. But hazard is at the beginning, it's like a potential thing, right? A potential thing, thing that you can foresee. So let's uh, read. A hazard is anything with the potential to cause harm. The example we've got here is working at height on scaffolding, right? On scaffolding. So if you work in a very high a altitude and for example you work in a building maybe outdoors or out of the building right uh, maybe cleaning the windows maybe in the construction field and any kind of situations that you need to wear the scaffolding right there is a hazard there is a hazard hazard is the potential um, to cause harm the potential to cause harm, also working with needles, also working with um, the doctors that uh, work with these um, radiation machines, right? So that's a hazard, that's a hazard. But now what a risk? What is risk? The likelihood that a hazard will cause a specified harm to someone. Mm. So hazard is the first thing, like the potential, the potentiality, or uh, the, it can be caused because you work on that, but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. When it is a, ri a risk, well, the risk is the likelihood, la the probability, that a hazard will cause a specified harm to someone. But what is a harm? What is harm? Harm is a physical injury or mental damage. Hard to be or to get hurt. Hurt. When you get hurt, you need medical attention. You need um, maybe therapist. You need any other process to recover your health to the 100%, but usually you don't get the 100% again, right? So the employers, the employers must control what? The risk, the risk, okay? Employers must control the risk in the workplace by, by doing what? By evaluations, by uh, planning, or uh, we said some other words at the beginning, remember, to 
plan strategies to avoid, to avoid to get hurt, okay? To avoid the harms, yeah? We said some words at the beginning, remember? Like analyzing, right? With analysis, planning, assessing. And this is a process. It's not only one thing or one element. There are different steps, okay? Because we need to control these risks. Management, the management of risk too. And also the risk strategies. Okay, then, so who is the responsible here? The responsible is the employer, okay? The responsible is the employer. They must provide all the safety equipment all the safety tools, safety measurements and guidelines that will protect the life or will protect the integrity of their employees, okay? So now let's see some uh, examples how to use likelihood, okay? How to use likelihood. Veamos por acá más o menos ¿Cómo usaríamos likelihood? Esa palabra, ¿verdad? Esa palabra nos sirve para eh, hablar de posibilidades o probabilidades. So, is there any likelihood of our getting our money back? Right. Eh, a ver, leamos la siguiente. Nelson, please. Staff have to calculate continuously their likelihood or of danger. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Glenda, the next one, please. Staff have to calculate continuously the likelihood of danger. Thank you. And the next one too, please, Glenda. Taking regular exercise reviews the like likelihood of the heart attack. Attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so likelihood, the probability, right? Or the possibility that a heart attack occurs. Uh, okay, the next one. There is me? Like, yes, please, Glenda, go ahead. There is every likelihood that she will be able to help us. All right. There is every likelihood mm -hmm, that she'll, she will. Be able to help us. All right. Vamos a ver la siguiente. The last one, please. Eh, Carlos Alberto. Miss Nancy, read the last one, please. Okay. This shouldn't affect the likelihood of you getting the job. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is there any risk in this profession, guys? Look, is there any risk? Can you mention any risk? Can you do the likelihood of potential damage in this mm -hmm. profession? The likelihood yeah. of the parachute doesn't open. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That will be the worst thing, I think, right? That will be the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, you can get uh, a, a broken bone too, right? A broken bone. Mm -hmm. Okay. A heart attack too. <laughs> Yeah, I had a tag too, if you were not used to do it. Yeah. Or maybe because of the fallen, right? Because of the fallen and the, um, maybe you can also be in a place where you can uh, <clears throat> have a less a possibility of breathe correctly or to have a, a good pace of breathing. Okay, also, yes. Okay, people, so let's go to, uh, well, let's go to a brainstorm, okay? Let's go to a brainstorm now. And we want to say in one word 
or um, yeah, in one word, what is a risk? Okay. Or risk assessment. Pongamosle también risk assessment. Vamos a ver. What is risk assessment at the workplace? Así sería la pregunta. Entonces, entre todos, ahorita les voy a pasar un link y ustedes van a escribir. Una palabra. Pueden escribir para participar varias veces, ¿ok? Ok, ahí está el link. Con una palabra, ok, with one word. What is risk assessment at the workplace? Ahí les pasé el link. Presionen el link y pongan las palabras, ok. Una palabra. O una frasecita de dos palabras, ¿verdad? Si hay un nombre compuesto. Pueden participar varias veces, así que pueden poner una palabra cada vez.
Ok. Vamos entonces a hacer un pequeño repaso. Ok. El pequeño repaso sería, what is risk assessment? Entonces, el repaso sería, risk assessment is a plan, right? It's a process. Vamos a ver acá. It's analysis of risks, right? Controlling risks, the management of risk. Checking the risks. Tenemos otras cosas que es como avoid the danger. Okay, warning, caution, the instructions, right? Safety instructions. We have other words over here. Hazard, hazardous materials, workplace accidents, incidents, risks, exposure, irreversible damage, likelihood, uh, danger, poison, precaution, precautionary, safety, safety measure, unpleasant, harm, harmful. Now, <clears throat> the likelihood uh, that a hazard will cause a specified harm to someone. And also, employers must control the risk in the workplace by assessing. Okay, there we go. Hmm. A ver, voy a volver a poner el Mentimeter si alguien quiere agregar algo, ya que vimos algunos. Good, keep safe. Analyzing risks, good. Mm -hmm. Avoiding mistakes. Cart cloning risk, okay. This is not exactly, uh, well, because of clients, all right. Mm -hmm. Identify hazard, good. The probability, the prevention, caution. Mm -hmm. Personal care or take care of the personnel, right? Mm, bank secret risk. Cart cloning risk. Identify, to identify danger. Mm -hmm. Formation, the process to avoid risk. Protect the integrity of people. <clears throat> Good. Mm -hmm. So the main, um, the main purpose is to The main purpose in this case is to protect, right? This is protection. Hello. Yes, here I am. I'm sorry. I was just uh, taking a screenshot and bring it over here. Okay, so here we are. Que me quede muy quieta, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes, this is. <clears throat> Our risk assessment words definitions. So these are our words, okay? These are our words. So you can take a screenshot if you'd like.
Now, we are going to uh, do this much, okay? We are going to this, do this much. But first, we want to see some definitions in a conversation. Así que vamos a hacer... Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, guys. Eso, eso de la, de, de que me sacó de todo esta máquina, me dejó un poquito mal todo acá. Tengo que abrir todito de redes, permítanme. I see. Nope. Speak to say one. Bien. Entonces vamos a leer una conversación, vamos a hacer el role playing en el, en el breakout room, vamos a hacer el, la comprehension check y vamos a hacer ese match, ¿ok? Eso es lo que vamos a ir a hacer al breakout room. Vamos a leer la conversación primero. Hmm. <coughs> Bueno, hoy sí, tiene que estar. Ay, se me movió más. Está bien, vamos. Por. Let's read the instructions. It says, two managers are discussing about risks. Two managers are discussing about risks and hazards. At different locations in their company. Read their conversation and take turns practicing it. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the, by the end of the week. All right. Vamos a ver. Wilber, por favor. Wilber and Glenda, please read. I mean, role play the conversation. Wilber, Mr. Marcos, Glenda, Mr. Josue. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measure for, for electric uh, shock, for electric burns. Yeah, it is. Uh, have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? I'm ready, Marco. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and accident incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made, made much progress on that. All right. Then I will work on establish the incidence probability, probabilities, the potential severity risk value, value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. You're a mute teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Is there any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Draft. Draft. Uh, like a um, borrador, right? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. En sucio decimos, trabajar en sucio. Porque el otro, el contrario sería trabajar en limpio. Yeah. O pasarlo en limpio decimos nosotros. ¿En dónde estaba ese draft ahorita aquí? The first draft for the office safety plan. Ok. Mm -hmm. Como el borrador. 
A ver, entonces, escuchemos una vez más. Vamos a ver, uh, le vamos a pedir eh, a Miss Rosa del Carmen y a Edwin Antonio. Edwin, you will be Marcos and Rosa will be Josué. Yes. Rosa, you ready? Miss Rosa, not yet. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces, le vamos a pedir. O oh, si sí está, Miss Rosa. Okay, entonces a Miss Cristina. Cristina, please, you will be Josué. Okay, repeat it. Okay. Let me check the list of SARS and safety measures is complete. Ventures for electric shocks for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office separated plan yet? I'm ready, Marcos. No, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incidence probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready but by the end of the week. Thank you. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Cristina. Okay, yeah. people. So I have tell, a question. Me, tell me. Uh, the word value. Value. Or value. Mm -hmm. El valor del riesgo. O sea, cuánto vale. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver. Eh, tenemos una discussion. We have a discussion below the conversation. It's a comprehension check of the discussion. So you have to answer one, two, and three. Okay. Um, and then you will go to the next page, 34, to do this match. We are going to match the word with the uh, definition. All right. And these definitions, I my suggestion is that you get this like an association of words because that's the best way to build your vocabulary. You are going to build your vocabulary not, not by the dictionary, not by translating, but reading in English the definition and associating, okay, with one key word. Remember the key words. Okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms and you work with your partner, okay? Please join your rooms, guys. Uh, even if you are a listener, you will learn listening to your partners.
Hello, Carlos Alberto, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ana Lorena, you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, the one that I have as a listener tonight is only Raul, so you may start uh, practicing, okay? Okay, teacher. There you go. Eh, Alguien puede, puede compartir en la pantalla. Yo creo que no entiendo. I sent it. Found the conversation? Yes, in the WhatsApp, in yeah. the chat. Es que yo lo tengo desconectado, ahorita lo conecto. Okay, there, there it is right now in the chat, uh, here in Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can see the conversation. Carlos, can you see it? Yes. Vaya, te voy. Ok, uh, we finished teacher. Sí. You may practice the conversation again if you want, ok? Because your, your classmates uh, haven't finished okay. yet. Okay. Ok, okay please. Thank you. Ok, I will. Antes de repasar, te quería enseñar, estimada, lo de la. El proyecto de la clase pasada, aprovechando. Ok. Le voy a enseñar lo que hicimos la clase pasada porque ya no estuvo, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, good. Ah. Glenda, uh, it's about the plan of costs, right? And also, uh, it was... Uh -huh. How to evaluate. Estuvimos viendo lo, de la, lo del prototipo, estuvimos viendo la semana. Prototyping and all the process, right? And of production. Mm -hmm. Of mm -hmm. production. Mm -hmm. Yes, one, it was a, a pilot test that you were going to do, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are, guys. Okay. The last. Okay. The last class. was very difficult <laughs> because nobody of the group was in the class. Estábamos viendo lo del lo del
So, um, these are three questions and we have three answers now. But so we can, with that. we can work with this vocabulary. Mm, I think um if you want we can we can read each each sentence and much yes and much the definitions yes the consequence or damage that it's so serious that it's impossible to undo oh, this is irreversible damage yes because it says that it's impossible to undo so yes, it's a reversible it's damage. Uh, I will someone. I will put the, the the answers in the how it says in the chat. Oh no, in my in my phone. Let me see. Okay. Mm, well, well, irreversible damage is that. It next, aim to protect someone, something for hazardous situations. Mm -hmm. um, aim to protect someone. Precautionary, it could be. Aim to protect someone. Mm. I'm not mm. sure. Could be safety, safety measured. Yes, it's too. Yes, it's a possible to. Well, next procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Oh, that is precautionary, right? <laughs> Could be. And next, likelihood of harm in the specific circumstances. Oh, this is risk. This is obviously a risk. Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Pleasant. Un unpleasant, what is? What kind of unpleasant do you remember? Unpreserved from something dangerous or unpleasant. This could be uh, exposure. Or injury, I don't know. Or a lesion, well, an injury. Um, este, habían tres hazards mm -hmm. en. Bueno, tres me olvidó. Se me fue el otro. Pero bueno. Ok, risk. What do you mean? Eh, eh, what do you think about risk? Uh, consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to... Mm. Undo, undo, teacher, how can undo? Undo. Ajá, uh -huh, deshacer, undo. Ah, sí, undo. Ah, ándale, es primera vez, fíjese. Uh -huh. que, la, que ya la sabía, pero nunca había sabido cómo se pronunciaba. Ok, undo. Undo. Ah, uh -huh. ok, thank you. Undo. Correct. Ah, esto entonces es number five. Mm -hmm. Number five. And two. Ah, excellent. And two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aim to protect someone, something from a hazardous situation. Esta palabra es nueva también para mí. La primera. La primera. Hazardous. No, no, la primera. Aim. Aim. No sé cómo. Uh -huh. Aim. Aimed. 
Aimed. Uh -huh. Aimed. Y el, la, la, el verbo sería aim. Aim, encaminado, ¿verdad? Encaminar o el objetivo es aim. Ah, uh -huh. es encaminar el, el propósito. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Solo déjeme anotar que yo esas palabras sí las estoy anotando. Uh -huh. And protect someone, something from a hazardous situation. Is that an instruction? Um, safety measure, maybe. What do you think, Salvador? Mm -hmm. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Number four. Yes. Okay. Yes. A likelihood of harm and in specific circumstance. I sent the image through the chat so you can read something. Uh, the chat. Oh. Yes, in Zoom. Okay. Ah, este es lo que necesitaba. Thank you. A surprise. Good. Arm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something that you lose on plasm potential. Hay mil que es. Perdón. Hay mil la palabra hay mil no sé qué es. Aimed, aimed. Aimed. Es, ajá. Aim es el objetivo o el, el Ido. o la acción de tener un objetivo. Aimed es como encaminado a. Ah, oh, ok. O con el objetivo de. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm. Maybe no. number six, maybe. I don't know. Uh, consequence or damage, damage that is so serious for me is irreversible damage. Uh huh. Irreversible damage, number five. Uh huh. And number one. He may be next, next and maybe number six, aimed to protect someone, something. I'm sorry, I meant to project some. Uh huh. Go maybe, ahead. maybe number six. Six precautionary, I meant to project some, something from house of situation. Okay. Um, he está uh, viendo unprotected uh, from something dangerous or unpleasant. Maybe number three. Number three. Unprotected um, from. Protect. Ajá, desprotegido de algo peligroso. Explosion, exposure. Ajá, okay. como a la 13 expuesto. We finished, teacher. Ok, continue practicing the conversation. Ok. okay.
or you, or you can do your homework on the platform if you want to, because there are some uh, classmates of you that they had some trouble, so they are still working, all right? Okay, uh, teacher, I was reading the chat uh -huh. by the uh, by their uh, human resource. Mm -hmm. And what's my name, but uh, I am not, uh, a day, al día, no sé cómo se dice, el, estoy al día. Up to date. Uh -huh. up I, to I'm date. up to date. Okay, I will check this twice, all right? And then I yes, tell I, you. Mm -hmm. I think there is no problem because mm -hmm. I know I am up to date, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why, why, uh, why my name is in the chat. Okay. Okay, maybe they didn't match the lists. Maybe, maybe okay. that's that could be happening. All right, no, okay. no problem. I will, I, I will double check and then I, I'll let you know. All right. Okay, no problem. Good. Thank you. Okay, okay Cristina. Entonces, Comparte eh, nuevamente. I will. I will... Hello. Okay, dear class. Let's look at the answers of the three questions. Okay. Hmm. Always the same thing to me. Here it is. So let's discuss the following questions. And actually you discussed already, right? So who has worked on the office safety plan? plan? Josue. Josue. Ajá, le falta algo en la respuesta, a ver. Cuando nos preguntan who, okay, eh, ese who es el sujeto en este caso, ¿verdad? Por eso eh, no lo tenemos como, como otro auxiliar de pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero, It's... o como forma de pregunta. Entonces, sería, usamos siempre la misma forma del verbo para contestar, en este caso, Perdón, era Josué. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué me falta ahí? Josué. Has. Okay. Josué has. Esa sería mi respuesta corta, ¿sí? Josué 
has. Mm -hmm. Ahora, la, la número dos. What's the way to answer who work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Also, it has worked. Eh, necesitamos el nombre y el auxiliar de eh, la forma del verbo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Jose, will it or will work? Fue Josué también. Yes. yes. No fue Marcos. No. no. Ah, ok. Josué le estaba diciendo a Marcos. Ok. <risa> Josué will. Ok. Josué will. Ah, oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Aquí la respuesta es Josué has. Aquí la respuesta es Josué will. Okay. What is an area of the risk assessment process in which the managers haven't progressed much? Controlling your risk. Mm -hmm. Controlling the risks. Mm -hmm. And how you can say that? What is controlling the risks? The area is electric, electric area. Okay, mm -hmm. but let's read because it says something very interesting. It says on controlling risks, right? Controlling risks. Pero después explican, ¿verdad? Que cosas entran en ese controlling risk. A ver, ¿cuáles serían esos elementos que ellos van a evaluar en ese, en ese control? ¿Qué van a controlar? On establishing the incident probabilities. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. And? The potential, the potential severity. Severity. Mm -hmm. The risk value and the risk level. level. Acuérdense que los riesgos van del 1 al 3 al 5, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de la severidad, dependiendo de el tipo de daño que causa en el cuerpo ¿sí? de una persona o de lo que puede causar en una maquinaria. Eh, por ejemplo, si alguien se quema con electricidad o la electricidad salta y abraza a alguien esa electricidad, puede también generar un choque general, ¿verdad? No solamente a la persona, sino que también puede dejar a oscuras toda la, la compañía y también puede dejar eh, sin producción por algo de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces el, 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 el nivel depende de hacia dónde se extienden eh, las consecuencias de un incidente, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que hay incidente y accidente. El accidente sucede, pasó, se recuperó o se hizo el proceso básico. Pero el incidente, el incidente es algo que es probable que pase y al mismo tiempo ese incidente genera una serie de consecuencias, ¿verdad? Alrededor, no es que el incidente sea menos severo sino que el incidente tiene también consecuencias, ¿verdad? Que se deben de eh, eh, considerar, ¿verdad? Y obviamente deben de estar controladas esas situaciones. Deben de estar controladas. Por eso esa es la parte que les hace falta y es la más difícil, sinceramente es la más difícil. I think that's the most difficult part when you assess the risks. Because if you don't assess the risk correctly, maybe you are going to um, mistreating your employees. You are mistreating also uh, your machines, right? And maybe you are not giving the correct uh, uh, attention or the right attention, right? To each situation. Okay. Uh, Let's stop this. Ah, nos falta la 34, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, 34. ¿Cómo les, les queda? Vamos a ver. Which one is the consequence or damage that it is so serious that it's impossible to undo? 
¿saben qué? Me voy a quedar yo callada y ustedes lo ponen aquí ya todos ahí rapidito, le dicen el uno al otro así rapidito, como ya lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Va a ser más fácil que lo hagamos juntos, right? eh, Perdón, que lo hagan ustedes todos juntos, yo me quedo en silencio. Hello. Okay. The next one is six. Precautionary. I meant to protect someone, something, or a hazardous situation. Who's next? There's likelihood of harm in specific. I see what it could have done. Try something, something dangerous or imperfect. Yeah. Y por descarte. <laughs> you are a mute teacher. And I was looking for my microphone to unmute, but it was kind of frozen all right guys yes i think the number five is the consequence or damage right irreversible damage you cannot uh well it's impossible to undo right it's impossible to undo uh just like to undo my buttons right you can undo and you can do your buttons uh back but you can't undo death you can't undo uh i don't know um uh, concussion, right? Or a concussion, right? You cannot undo that. And it's a, an irreversible damage. A heart attack maybe could have an irreversible damage, right? So uh, an electric shock, it's impossible to undo sometimes. Sometimes you can recover, sometimes you can't. All right, there you go. Irreversible damage. Aim to protect someone, something uh, from a hazardous situation. Yes, correct. Number six, because it is preventive, right? Something to prevent. It's not also. It's not only a procedure uh, with guidelines and ways to do the things. I'm sorry. All right, then, uh, am I mute? No. All right, there you go. So uh, hazard, I mean, irreversible damage, then safety measure, yes, it's a procedure. Guidelines to follow, um, actions to take, that's a procedure. Step-by-step step doing something, that's a procedure like a process, right? Uh, but pre precautionary is something that you use to prevent something. Yeah, that's precautionary measure and then number one likelihood of harm in specific circumstances yes their risk i'm protected from something dangerous or unpleasant all right then uh, it will be mm, 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 number three exposure yes i'm protected yes potential to be dangerous and to cause harm number two yes obviously remember the three colors we have yellow the orange then the red color, the red color is harm or the injury to be, but to get hurt. All right, there you go. So guys, I will call the roll. So please everybody turn your camera on and remember to do your homework if you haven't. I know that some of you have already finished the complete um, uh, activities and homework. 
I need you to start with the final exam if you want, so you can work in advance, all right? Please don't stop, but please keep this to date. Hey, everybody, try to keep this to date. All right, Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present. Okay, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martinez. Present. Good, Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Present. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Karen Iset Sánchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Here. Okay, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. <laughs> Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Okay, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Rosa del Carmen está conectado. Yes, she is, she's yes. joined, but she didn't say present. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Okay, there you go. A ver, Fátima Noemi no estaba conectada, ¿verdad? Eulice. No, Eulice y Rafael nos hicieron falta hoy. Carlos Eduardo. A ver. Eulice, Fátima. Quizás por las lluvias y los bajones eléctricos. Sí, está un poco difícil, pero bueno, hay que tratar, ¿verdad? Los felicito a ustedes. Muchísimas gracias a todos por estar conectados y haciendo el esfuerzo. La sesión uno a uno ahora puede ser para... A ver, como ya finalizamos el listado, ¿verdad? A ver, yo tengo por acá que le tocaría a Ana Lorena porque sería la número uno nuevamente de la lista, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Quisiera quedarse, Lorena? Ok, está bien, teacher. All right, then. See you tomorrow, guys. And remember to do your homework. Ok, eh, no falten, por favor. Don't skip any class. Ya casi terminamos y necesitamos ese porcentaje para llegar, ¿ok? Por favor, okay. no falten. No me dejen solita. Okay. Yes, the chat. All <laughs> right. Um, okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, bye. guys. See you, bye -bye. everybody. Good night. Take care. Bye. Okay, Lore. Here we are, Lorena. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, is there any question you have at the moment or mm -hmm. anything that you want to talk about? Maybe not, teacher. I, I don't have any question about the topic. I mm -hmm. try to make the homework. Okay, and did you finish the platform or? Are, yes, well, I, I make I... the last exam. Oh, yes, I was, I was checking on that and yes, some of you have. And you're one of those, okay. Y con eso se encontró en alguna situación que necesite alguna explanation or something? Maybe, I believe that. No, uh, I remember that I had problem with a topic, but I don't remember in this moment who are. Uh, okay. But mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. uh, some topic. Uh, before mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. this unit four uh-huh uh-huh okay so unit three i believe 
Okay, yes, because I see that you have the 100% all right, already. And let's go to the unit three. Unit three was uh, the production line. Uh huh. Mm, no. In the production line, we saw some things related to the costs of production, mm. manufacturing, and all this kind of thing. In this topic, I don't have problem. Mm -hmm. I believe that in anything. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Any opinion that you want to share? Mm. Maybe How... at, I like the the uh, activities and the practice uh, and reading because my my big problem is pronunciation and maybe understand um, for this reason I really like a uh, practice more these two areas mm -hmm. okay and did you participate in the discussions yes in the discussions it, with that uh -huh. uh, I have a problem uh, to connect uh -huh. uh, Tuesday and Friday the last week. Yes, we miss you. Uh, but you, we miss you on Friday, right? Because yes. uh, Friday uh, we weren't able to to join. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Um, and I don't practice in this push. But did it? But did you uh, watch the video? Did you watch the video to catch up? No, no, oh. I don't see. Oh, I can okay. see actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes, you can see it. You can see it, and uh, don't worry because it was, um, it was a reading activity. Okay, there you can find a listening and reading along activity. So you listen to the audio and then you read. So if you follow the steps of the activity, you will get success. Uh, because first, the idea is that you don't see the words all right just to identify the words because you know the vocabulary okay mm -hmm. about production and all those things mm -hmm. uh even we were talking about the cost of production uh and talking about some new elements but they were identifiable identifiable okay, okay. so i think if you uh first listen to the audio close your eyes don't read anything then you read along and then you answer the questions. Then I think I think it will mm, eh, be the best way. Okay, okay. you are going to get one hundred percent of the activity, okay. right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so you you may watch the video and do that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, right. and then we worked about the prototyping, the prototyping of your product, okay, uh -huh. that your project. And the idea was that you to uh, point at the materials you were going to use and make a sketch of your prototype and uh, pointing measurements and flavors, colors, and all the features uh, that you will um, add to your product and also the functionality. And if the functionality was, uh, it was seem okay, right? It was likely okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if the functionality uh, presented some things that you weren't, you you haven't first seen before, then you have to add your corrections. Okay, that's what we did. That's okay. what we did. The prototyping. So you may work on that while you watch the video too. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, Lorena. I think. Uh, we are okay now, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, Thanks. Then. My pleasure. My pleasure. Anything you need, please let me know through the WhatsApp. Okay. And mm -hmm. I'm here for supporting you. Okay. Okay. So have a very good night then, Lorena. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Good okay, night. bye.